Hi, this is Jeff Challen. I want to go over one of the more common problems that you may have while working on MP4. So here's what will happen. You'll run your MP as usual. In this case, I'm going to go over here, go to webserver.java, click run as Java application. And you'll see down here at the console that it's running. Now, this is the important message. If you get a message about a port in use, please shut down other running instances of this web server. Um, so let me show you how that might happen. So again, I've got, oops, I've got my web server up. It's serving, um, I've opened up localhost 8125 and I'm, you know, mucking around here. I've got this guy, I can green screen him. Everything's working great, okay. Now, let's say I make some changes and I hit the play button again. So here's what's gonna happen. I have an error message here uh, from Vertex saying that address is already in use. And that is the message that uh, we're warning you about here. So the reason why this happens is something that I'll go into a minute, in a minute, but let me just first show you how to address it. What happens here is that the first web server that we started is still running. Um, unfortunately, Eclipse makes that a little bit difficult to tell because it's only showing you one console at a time. But if I click over here, I can see that there are actually two consoles open that I can select from. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and you need to do this every time you make changes and you want to, to experiment with them, I need to shut down my web server. Okay, so I hit the black um, square, that shuts down the web server. Now I can kill this console. And now after I do that, you'll see, here's the web server that's causing the problem. So this guy's still running here. If I shut him down, um, then, you know, again, I can close this console, then I can start up uh, my web server again. So the correct flow here is every time I make changes that I want to test, and I'm not using the test suite, I want to test using the, uh, the web UI that we gave you. Um, I shut down the web server, and then I can hit the play button again. If I hit the play button without shutting down the web server, what I need to do is stop this console, and then I can either uh, close this console using this uh, X here, or I can go over here and I can click this, or I can click the drop down. It allows me to select different consoles that are in use. Here's one that's causing the problem. This is the old web server that's still running. So I shut that one down, at which point I can hit play and everything works again. So why does this happen? The reason why this happens is that in order for our web client to communicate with your server, it needs an address. And this is part of the address. This is called a port number. So internet addresses are divided into two parts. This is the host name. Localhost refers to your machine. That's where the web server is running. Um, and this is a port number. In this case, we've chosen this port called 8125. Obviously, the 125 is sort of meaningful. Um, this is a port that's designed not to get in the way of anything else. Um, now, you don't normally see port numbers when you're out browsing around the internet because you usually are used to just going to addresses like www.google.com. But every internet address has both a host name, which you can see right here, and a port number. So let me try this. If I go to 443, for example, that's the port number for secure HTTP. So anytime you use HTTPS and you don't give it a port number, what's happening is that it's connecting over port 443. If I go to an address that doesn't use HTTPS, like CNN.com, for example, uh, this is equivalent to going to CNN.com port 80. Um, so these port numbers are always in use um, whenever you browse the web, whenever you use any sort of web protocol, and actually, and when you ever use any sort of client server protocol that speaks over sockets from one machine to another. I always need this port number. So what happens is, when this web server is running, it is um, blocking port 8125. It's receiving all the traffic that's destined to this machine for port 8125. So if I try to start up another copy of it, what you'll see happen is it tries to set itself up on port 8125, but there's already something running there. And I can't have two servers that are trying to use the same port because my client here doesn't know which one to communicate with. So again, the thing I need to do is make sure that every time I make changes, I shut down the web server first, um, and then I can restart it and everything will go according to plan. Good luck on it before.